Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how you can recreate the retro plucky synth from the track Vitality by Flume. So this is going to be the finished product we're going to be working on today. Alright, so let's begin. So open up Serum and the first thing that you need to do is enable oscillator B as we're going to be using both of these oscillators for our tutorial today. So the first thing that you need to do is head to the default, head to analog and choose basic underscore MDC. What you need to do is increase the WT position to around 140 as this is going to kind of give you like a square type of foot shape for the waveform but not 100%. Then what we're going to do is head to oscillator B, heading to default again and choosing basic mini instead. Change the WT position to three, so we have a squash, squash waveform as well. But instead, we're also going to head to off and choose the option mirror and set this to around 32. So we have a bit of a weird waveform like that. So this is how this scent is going to sound so far. Okay, so definitely the first thing that we need to do is increase the release of the sound. So make sure you head to envelope one and increase the release to around 800 milliseconds. As you definitely heard, the sound was also way too bright. We don't need those higher frequencies. So what we'll need to do is head to filter and change this to MG low six. Make sure you also tick B, so the filter applies to oscillator B. What we're going to do then is head to LFO1 and create a shape like this. Like that. Then make sure the rate is set to 1 8th and that the mode is set to envelope. What this does is that when the note is triggered, the LFO only is played once, not in a loop. So yeah, what we're going to do is apply this to the cutoff. So make sure you click and drag there and drag it there. And then just do shift alt click. So the basically the knob, the blue range starts from the place where the knob is placed. If that makes sense. But yeah, anyways, what we need to do is set the filter cutoff to around 380 to around 400. And then by dragging on this blue icon here, we're going to decrease the range. So yeah, just drag down and set it to around yeah 25. Good. Now the next thing we're going to do is just make this synth a bit more detuned. So to kind of show you how it sounds now. It sounds good, but it definitely sounds like almost too on tune, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm definitely not how it sounds on the track. So let's fix that. For oscillator A and B, make sure you set them both to 18. And what we're going to do now is make use of the second LFO. And we're going to apply to oscillator A to add some vibrato, but it's going to be slight. So make sure you drag LFO 2 to the course tune and make sure you decrease the uh, the triangle down a bit like this so it's not as steep so if we have a listen now it sounds really goofy because what we need to do is head to matrix and again decrease the range so we we can what we can do is drag this slider here and we're just gonna drag it down to one great actually uh, one thing i forgot to mention is that for oscillator a we need to increase it by one octave so yeah this is how it should sound so the last thing we're gonna do is apply some extreme compression it doesn't really matter what kind of compression you use but from my experience it is really uh, what really worked for this synth was to use extressor and the default preset already did the job just fine. So if you want to know how it sounds, this is how it's going to be. So 
So yeah, it really just helps kind of to like extend the sound without increasing the release, but just really improve the dynamics of the sound as how we want it to be in the track. And yeah, essentially that's it. Um, in terms of what other plugins you could use, I could recommend a tape audio by, sorry, tape by Baby Audio. It's also quite a good extreme compression plugin that could help you achieve this type of sound. And yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. Drop a comment down below. And yeah, I guess see you in a year.